Portugal is one of the countries flirting with mounting debt. Last week, the government reiterated its commitment to cut the country's budget deficit, and I quote, we will bring it to less than 3% of GDP by 2013. That was the claim of the finance minister, Fernando Teixeiras dos Santos. And he joins me now on the phone from Lisbon. Thank you so much, minister, for joining you, us here you are welcome. On, on Bloomberg. So first of all, there does seem to be so much optimism today that something is being cooked up to save Greece. Do you know of any plans within the European Union? Uh, no, I, I'm not aware of uh, any plan. Uh, uh, what I, I know is that the, the Greek authorities are committed to implement their uh, own measures and their plan uh, to reduce the deficit until to 2012, uh, as they uh, expect. But, Minister, there's a big EU meeting on Thursday. The markets are believing that something will come out of it to help Greece out of this uh, crisis. Do you believe there will be support for Greece from its neighbours? Uh, I, uh, I don't know what will come out from the meeting on Thursday. Uh, uh, I think it's better to expect what happens indeed in, in, in Thursday. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, what I would say is that uh, if there is a need for some kind of help to, to Greece, uh, I believe that uh, members of the European Union and particularly of the Eurozone will be willing to, uh, uh, to help this country. Uh, I think there is a strong feeling of uh, solidarity among us and uh, uh, that will be, will be perceived uh, if necessary. Now, Minister, today you also announced that you would sell bonds, but at the same time you've really distanced yourself from Greece. Why should investors believe uh, that really Portugal is any different to Greece? Uh, I, I would uh, point to three main reasons. First, uh, the deficit in Portugal is uh, lower than in Greece. Uh, together with the fact that our public debt has a ratio of GDP is below uh, the Eurozone average, as it was before the crisis, um, and uh, does not compare with a level like the Greek one, which is uh, above uh, 110 percent. On the second, uh, I would uh, call the attention for the fact that uh, we have uh, a major uh, uh, reforms already implemented in Portugal, structural reforms that provided for a, a more sustainable framework for our public finances. But Minister, reforms I on apologize social security. To, cut, to cut you off, but whilst a lot of the countries are actually reining in stimulus, what Portugal is trying to do is still spur activity. Doesn't that not put you in a weaker position to some of your European counterparts? No, but we are uh, uh, going or we are maintaining some measures uh, uh, because uh, uh, there are still effects of the crisis we have to face, uh, to face. but we will withdraw those measures uh, uh, because they will not be necessary as we exit the crisis. And uh, we are already doing that and we will uh, keep doing that. Uh, but uh, we did already important structural reforms on social security and on public administration that provided us, provides us with better uh, prospects in terms of sustainability. Oh, might you actually take deeper budget cuts because of the deterioration in Portugal's debt markets? Yes, uh, we will do what is necessary to cut the deficit and we will focus on cutting expenditure. We uh, want to avoid uh, uh, solutions based on uh, the increase of uh, tax rates. Uh, we will focus mainly on cutting expenditure. Uh, Minister, just one last uh, question. What would you be telling investors today? There does seem to be this fear and contagion all in Europe. Would you be telling investors uh, n not to put Portugal in the same basket as Greece or um, trust me because I'm, I'm putting these bonds out on the market? What I would say to them is that we have uh, better reasons to trust the sustainability of the public finances, and I think we have a strong credibility in markets. We uh, made uh, important reforms, we had already reduced the deficit uh, a few years ago, and uh, we are the same guys in business, and we'll do it again. Minister, thank you so much, Minister Dos Santos, there of Portugal.